Hello and welcome to this lesson in SolidWorks. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw this bench hook. For those of you who have done woodwork in the past, you will know what a bench hook is. It's used to help you when you're cutting something with a tenon saw. So I'm going to close this and I'm now back to my default screen and I want to open up a brand new part. So I will go to SolidWorks, File and New. And as before, I want you to click into part and then click OK. Now, I just want to make sure that uh, we are working in millimeters first. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom right hand corner and check, which I am. And I also want to save this before I proceed on. So I'm going to save this. I will go file and save. Now, what we will do is I want you to continue to save it in our SolidWorks lessons. But this time I want to create a new folder and we will call this lesson. I will double click into that and I'm going to call this bench hook and then click save. So that is my uh, preparation done. I want to start drawing this. So to do this, I'm going to go into sketch and I want to sketch a corner rectangle. So corner rectangle. And I'm going to draw this on the top plane. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to uh, press the space bar button and click normal blue. And I'm going to draw a rectangle just for the overall basic shape. So I'm going to bring it up around 200 by 100. So that's my rough rectangle there. I'm going to press escape because I do not want to be in my command anymore for drawing a rectangle. And I want to smart dimension that now. So I have smart to mention that as 200 by 100. So that is my overall shape done. I want to give that a bit of volume. So I, what I will do now is I will go into features and extrude bus base. And we're going to leave it at 10 millimeters. So as before, you can type in your measurement here or you can grab it here. But I'm going to make that just 10 millimeters and I will confirm that then as well. Perfect, so that's uh, how much we've got done now. Uh, I'm just gonna click that save, so it's gonna update to the work we've actually done. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put maybe the little block up here, for example. So I want to sketch another rectangle. So I'll go sketch, corner rectangle, and this time it's asking us where do we want to do it. This time I want to sketch on this surface here. So you notice how as I move over uh, the surface itself, the outline goes orange. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to click the space bar and click normal too. And I'm going to draw a rectangle from the very corner. And it's going to be 80 by 40 roughly. So uh, I've brought my rectangle down like so. That's only rough measurements. I'm going to press escape to get out of that command and I'm going to smart dimension that as 80 by 40. Now I want to give that a little bit of volume. So this time I'm going to go to features and extrude bus base and we'll make that 15 millimeters. So now that that done, I'm going to click save to make sure it updates. Uh, this time I want to put a little bit of a block underneath here. Okay, so this time is slightly different. So what I might do is I'm going to aim to look at the bottom of it. So to do that, uh, I click my button here and click the bottom part. So we're looking at the bottom and I want to put it up here like that. Okay. And as before, I will go to sketch, a corner rectangle. It's asking us to select a plane or a surface. Uh, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to draw a rectangle in the corner there like so. And the measurements for this will be the exact same. Uh, so we said 80 by 40. I can confirm that. And I want to give that a bit of volume. So it's features, extrude bus base. And I'm just, I'm just going to turn it around so we can see what we are doing. And 
As before, I'm going to leave it at 15 millimeters and I can confirm that then as well. So now that is the majority of our bench hook done. I'm just going to save that to update. The last thing I want to do is I want to put a small hole here uh, that would allow the bench hook to be uh, hung up uh, on the bench in the classroom. And this is going to introduce a new command uh, known as extruded cut this time. Okay? So what I want us to do is I want us to look at the top of it. And we're going to put uh, a little circle roughly around here. So to do that, what I want us to do is I want to go sketch and I want to click circle. And again, it's asking us where do we want to draw it? I want to draw it on top surface there like so. I'm going to click uh, spacebar and click normal too. And for the moment, I'm just going to uh, put a circle in there roughly uh, like so. Okay. And we're going to give this a number of measurements. So I'm going to press escape to get out of that command. And what I want us to do is I want us to smart dimension this now. So I want to click smart dimension. And what we will do is we will smart dimension it from the side first. So I'll make that 50 millimeters. And I'm going to smart dimension it from the end. So you can see that I'm clicking to the center point to the end. And let's make that. Uh, let's make that 60 millimeters. And I also want to smart dimension the actual circle itself. So I'll select the circumference of the circle. And it's already at 22. Let's make it 16 millimeters. Now we have my circle. Um, we have it dimensioned. We have it all set and ready to go. A new command I want to introduce then is extruded cut. So what I will do is I will go to features and I want you to click extruded cut this time. And what this does is it cuts into the actual object itself. Okay, so in the past we've extruded something and this would give it a bit of volume. This time we are cutting into an actual object. So you can see that the arrow is cutting down into the object and as before, there are a number of ways to um, decide how deep we go. We can pull it down like so. Or if we know our volume, we can just type in, sorry, if we know our measurement, the depth we want to go in, we can just simply type that in. I know that's 15 millimeters. Now I think it's 10. But even if I go 15 and I click the green tick button to confirm that, it will cut all the way through. So you can now see I have a hole going all the way through. So that was a new one, extruded cut. I might just undo that again. And it was in features, extruded cut. And you can see that for me, it's already gone all the way through. And I can click extruded cut then, confirm it. So I'm just going to go to isometric and that is this lesson complete.